What is up guys? So iOS 6 was finally released to the public and people have been asking if there is a jailbreak for it yet and I have some good news and also some bad news. The good news is there is a jailbreak already out for it and the bad news is it only works on A4 devices and earlier meaning this will only work if you have an iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS or an iPod Touch 4th generation. So if you don't have these devices, do not attempt this jailbreak. Also, it is a tethered jailbreak, which means you will need to always connect to your computer and boot via Red Snow if your device dies or you have to reboot it or else you will be stuck on the Apple logo. So just be aware of that. But uh, before we do start, we'll need a few things. We'll first need to have iOS 6 running on our compatible device. So if I go into settings here, Go into general, go to about, and you see down here I am running iOS 6, so I have that. So now we'll also need to have Red Snow 0.9.13 Dev 4 downloaded. You can find the links in the description below for both Mac and Windows. And we'll also need to have our iOS 6 firmware file for our device. So go ahead and download that if you do not already have that. And lastly, we'll need to have our IP address of our device. You can actually get this by simply going back into your settings and then go into Wi-Fi and then here on our network that we're connected to go ahead and hit that little blue arrow on the right and then we'll see our IP address right here so go ahead and take a note of that because we'll actually need that close to the end of this jailbreak video so once you do have that written down you are good to go so to begin, we'll first need to connect our iDevice to our computer and simply put our iDevice into DFU mode. So I already have mine connected to my computer as you can see this cord back here. And to simply put it into DFU mode, you'll simply hold down the power button and also the home button simultaneously for about 10 seconds until it does shut off. Once uh, it does shut off, go ahead and let go of the power button and then keep holding down the home button for about seven or eight seconds and then it should be in DFU mode so if you did successfully put this in DFU mode when you open up Red Snow 0.9.13 dev 4 it will say down here connected iPhone 4 DFU mode or if you have the iPhone 3GS or the iPod touch fourth gen it'll say DFU mode next to it so once you do have that we'll simply go into extras and then we'll go down to select IPSW and then we'll select our IPSW or also known as our firmware of iOS 6 so I have mine here on my desktop go ahead and look for that and go ahead and open that up and as you see here it would say successfully identified that is a good thing hit OK and now we'll simply hit back and now we'll select jailbreak so now it'll prepare all the jailbreak data Next we'll be prompted with this screen. Go ahead and make sure install SSH is selected. And once you do that, go ahead and hit next. And then now this will take a while. If you're familiar with jailbreaks, uh, you'll know this will always take a while. So just be aware that this is gonna take a couple minutes. And also when you do see this crazy matrix code here in a second, uh, do not panic. That is actually normal. So once you do see this right here, that's normal guys. Don't worry about that. <laughs> but I uh, just let this go ahead and do its thing and then we'll actually come back once it is done okay once it does go ahead and boot back up we will actually just simply need to go back to red snow and click on back and if you did close this out just go ahead and open it back up and then we'll simply go into extras and then tap on or click on just boot and we'll have to do this again this is actually the steps you will need to do every time you do reboot your device because this is a tethered jailbreak as I stated in the beginning so every time your battery dies or you have to reboot or something you'll be stuck in the Apple logo unless if you do this so in order for it to boot back up you'll need to do the just boot method here through Red Snow so once you're on this screen go ahead and put it back into DFU mode by holding down the home button and the power button simultaneously for about 10 seconds until it does shut off and then you let go of the power button but still hold on to the home button so once you keep holding down this home button here in a second you'll see your screen change on red snow so once it does change that means you successfully put in DFU mode now and then it will do its thing again 
So now we just play the waiting game again. So once this does boot up, we'll be right back into this jailbreak. Also be aware, the pineapple logo I see here, this will be displayed once you do uh, do the just boot again this time. So be aware of that if that doesn't show up, then you did something wrong. But uh, if you do have this showing up, that's a good thing. So we're good to go. Just keep keep letting this just do its thing. <laughs> Alright guys, once that is finished booting back up, this is where we'll actually need our IP address. So, get that IP address in hand, and then we'll simply go into Terminal on our Mac. You can just open that app up, go into Terminal, and we can actually close out of Red Snow now. And if you are running Windows, go ahead and download another SSH program like WinSCP um, for this next step. So you'll actually finish the whole jailbreaking process but uh for mac users well also windows users go ahead and type in ssh root at here you actually type in your ip address so go ahead and type that in once you do hit enter it will ask you this question and go ahead and hit yes to continue hit enter and then now for the password we'll simply type in alpine it's going to be a l p i n e you won't see anything move but it will be actually typing go ahead and hit enter again and now we are in the root number section on this part you'll simply paste this in there I'll have this in the description as well as the SSH root if you can't spell that but anyways go ahead and hit enter again and now we'll go ahead and start downloading the devs and it'll do a long process it may take a couple minutes so just let this sit through and let it do its thing and yeah, so we'll go ahead and wait this out and let Terminal Insidia do its thing. All right, and now you will actually get your iDevice booting back up, your iPhone or your iPod Touch. And now, if we simply scroll to the right, we will have Cydia now. So that is amazing. We finally have iOS 6 jailbroken. So now once you do, I'll go ahead and open up Cydia. Of course we'll have the preparing file system and then that will take a while and once that does do its thing we'll simply have to just open up Baxidia and then do the regular thing just go ahead and choose if you're user developer or hacker uh, normally I just do user but uh, yeah so that is going to be it guys congratulations on jailbreaking iOS 6 so guys if you like this video hit that like button and give it a thumbs up to show me that you liked it and if you have any questions or comments, leave that in the comment section below. Also, for future updates, follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook. All the links will be down below in the description. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I come out with my future videos. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!